Hello everyone, welcome to JavaScript tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about internal and external JavaScript in HTML. So what is internal JavaScript? So here you can see, uh, if we write JavaScript code inside our HTML code at the end of our body tag, then it is called internal JavaScript. So here you can see that we write our JavaScript code inside the script tag and it is inside our HTML file. So this is called internal JavaScript. So here you can see documented right. This is a JavaScript test. So here if we just refresh our browser, here you can see it is already written over here. This is a JavaScript test and this is coming from the JavaScript part. And we write this inside our HTML file. So this is called internal JavaScript. Now what is external JavaScript? External JavaScript means that a JavaScript code is coming from a JavaScript file. Let me just show you the example here. We are going to create a file for JavaScript. So here, let me just click, right click, then click new file. And over here, let's say our file name will be script.js. You can name it anything. You don't have to name it exactly script. Okay, you can name it basically anything. But the extension is always needs to be .js. Just like CSS, the extension for JavaScript needs to be .js. So let's save it and save. So right now, here what we are going to do is that we are going to cut this portion of code, then save it and we'll paste it inside our skip.js. And since this is already a JavaScript file, so we do not require to write the skip tag over here. We can just directly write our JavaScript code. Okay. So right now, obviously if we save it, we won't see anything in our view. Let me just refresh over here. Here you can see there is nothing in our page because we did not connect our skip.js with our index.html. So how can we connect it? So in order to connect our skip.js, we need to write our here script. And here inside the script, we say here source. And inside the source, we are going to say script.js. So we say script.js. So right now, if we save it, then if we now refresh, here you can see this is a JavaScript text, which came from uh, this file. This is a JavaScript text. So it means we are about to successfully connect our skip.js with our index.html. Now, if you have multiple JavaScript file, let's say you have a skip2.js file over here, then what you have to do is that in order to connect that, you just have to write over here, skip2.js. I hope I'm clear. So I just wanted to let you know that the difference between internal and external JavaScript. And it is always better to write JavaScript code in a separate file because that way you can understand your code more better and it actually looks better. So this is all about this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, you can let me know in the comment section. And I really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.